What is up everybody, Mike the Bearded Buffoon here, and I'm coming at you today with something a little bit different. So when I started my channel, you've probably heard me say this, I wanted to do a little bit of everything. While disc golf has been quite a bit of my focus, I do have a bit of a bum arm, ergo, I'm not being able to get out and throw discs like I'd like to. In my spare time, I do do a little bit of 3D printing. And I have a couple Prusa Mark III S Pluses, I believe is what they're called. And recently, as you can see right here, I've got a problem with my LCD board. Um, they are very susceptible to static discharge. And if I just get up out of this chair and walk over to my printer and I forget to discharge my static on something metal, uh, I, in this case, touched the controller and zap. Everything went like that. I have not been able to recover it. So what I did is instead of spending the you know, $60 plus shipping to get the actual unit sent back over from uh, the Czech Republic, uh, I went to Printed Solid and I picked up their version of the LCD board. Uh, so I'm hoping this is going to be a fairly easy little plug and play version. And if so, I'm just going to swap this out real quick and bring you guys along for the ride. So let's take a look at it here real quick. All right, first thing we're going to want to do here is we're going to go ahead and kill the power to it. So you can see the power has shut off, but just go a little bit of a step extra. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the power cable from it so it has no power going to it at all. So first thing we want to do is grab the handy dandy little Allen wrench that came with the Prusa. Uh, I actually have two of them. One came pre-assembled, one I had to assemble, but this is one of the tools that comes with it. And as you can see here, there's going to be one, two, three, four screws that we're going to get in there and we are going to loosen up. So let's go ahead and start getting these guys out. I don't think you guys wanna watch me do all this. So I'll cut to me removing the board. Okay, so as you can see, I have all four of those screws out and the controller is loose here. So I'm gonna take a look and see what I can sort out here. So quick look, this one says EXP1 and this one says EXP2. So let's go ahead and grab the replacement board. And as I kind of look at this, we are seeing EXP1 on the correct side and EXP2 on the other side. Uh, so I'm hoping that I can just reuse those cables so I don't have to reroute them. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the cables from the new board from printed solid. And I think I'm at least just gonna do a little test power and see how that goes. So stand by a second, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off, pull those off, and then hopefully connect those two cables to this board and at least do a quick test run. Fortunately, these cables are very easy to pull out. So I just got those set off to the side. Hopefully these are gonna be just as easy. Yes, they are. One and two. And before I even think of taking all that plastic apart, I'm just gonna go ahead, plug that one in, plug this one in, get myself some power here. Let's just see if we've got Well, that already looks way better. Already has the, the firmware updated that I already had done to it. And looky there. Well, that looks like this is gonna be a pretty easy job. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill the power again. I'm going to unplug this. And then hopefully I can take this apart somewhat easily and just put this back together. So let's see what we can do here. All right, we are back at the desk. Got the handy dandy little Prusa Allen wrench. I have the original board in the 3D printing housing and I have the replacement LCD panel. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start by taking out the SD card. I probably should have already done that. We're gonna go ahead and remove the knob 
uh, for the control panel. Now we should be able to hopefully just get in here and remove some, oh, nice and squeaky, <laughs> screws into PETG, PETG. Which one is it? What do you call it? PETG, PETG? Uh, I've heard it so many different ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these and I'll check back with you as soon as these are out so that you don't have to watch me do all of this. All right, so I've got those two loosened. Screws are out. Let's see if I can remember how this bad boy comes out without breaking something. All right. So before I get too far into this, I'm just gonna kind of compare these two boards. Um, a lot of similar markings. Uh, obviously you're printed on here. You have a stamp on that. The circuits, I mean, I'm no expert. They look very, very similar. So uh, before I get them confused, let's go ahead and move that one out of the way. So that should go back in there, making sure I don't mess everything up like I uh, possibly could by putting things in the wrong side. I'm gonna go ahead and put these two pieces back on. I'm wondering, I'm gonna go ahead and peel that. Then hopefully all we have to do here is make sure these are aligned in their correct pockets and voila. So just like a while ago, now I got to put these two screws back in those two holes and they're probably gonna be squeaky. So I'm not going to submit you to that. So as soon as I get that done, I'll come right back. All right, screws in, everything's nice and tidy. Looks like it all lined up pretty nicely there. We'll go ahead and, uh, I mean, maybe it's off just a hint, but you know what? It's still gonna work. So, clicky knob. Let's take it back to the printer. Make sure it's still working. So, we're gonna try that real quick. All right, we are back over here at the printer. We're gonna take a quick look here. Before I get too much farther in, we're gonna connect these two. I'm not gonna screw it back together just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power. We got power version 3.12.1. Everything's looking good there. We're gonna go ahead and insert the SD card, sorting files, everything that I had on there recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna turn power back off and I am going to retighten those four screws. Everything should still be working. Power on. Original Prusa I3. Got all the temperatures, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and yeah, preheat. Actually the knob seems a little more snug than previous, but yeah. Back to info screen. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the reset button here. Sorting files. Man, back to like it should have been. So that's done for now, and I can get back to 3D printing and knowing what I'm printing. So let's go ahead and power that bad boy off. All right, everybody, so that was a lot simpler than I thought it was gonna be. Actually, it was as simple as I hoped it would be, um, but simpler than I thought it was gonna be. I was expecting it to be some nightmare uh, just because it never fails. You get into a project like that and something happens that you don't expect and it's just a nightmare. So if you guys wanna check that thing out uh, and you have a Prusa Mark III that you have the same problem, go to Printed Solid. Uh, I mean, if memory serves, the thing was like 29 bucks plus shipping. So definitely way better than ordering the Prusa Direct part uh, from the Czech Republic 
or getting some questionable stuff off of Amazon. So I'd say check it out. I think it's going to be a good fix. Till next time, guys, y'all take care.